The erythrocyte sedimentation rate, or ESR for short, is a laboratory test that measures the rate at which red blood cells settle at the bottom of a vertical column of anticoagulated blood over a specified period, typically one hour. It is a nonspecific indicator of inflammation. Under normal circumstances, red blood cells repel each other due to negative surface charges. However, during inflammatory or infectious states, levels of plasma proteins such as fibrinogen, immunoglobulins, and C-reactive protein increase, reducing this repulsion and promoting stacking of red blood cells together, known as rouleaux formation. Rouleaux settle more quickly due to their increased density, resulting in a higher ESR. The ESR test is used as a supportive tool in diagnosing and monitoring a wide range of conditions, including the following. Infectious diseases, especially chronic ones such as tuberculosis. Autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and systemic lupus erythematosus. Inflammatory diseases such as polymyalgia rheumatica, vasculitis, and osteoarthritis. Certain cancers, especially lymphoma and multiple myeloma. In addition, ESR can be used to monitor disease progression and response to treatment as well. The ESR is most commonly measured using the Westergren method, which is considered the standard procedure. In this method, venous blood is collected into a tube containing 3.8% sodium citrate anticoagulant in a 4 to 1 blood to anticoagulant ratio. The anticoagulated blood is then drawn into a vertical Westergren tube up to the 200 mm mark. Next, the tube is placed in a vertical, undisturbed position at room temperature. After exactly one hour, the distance from the top of the blood column to the top of the red cell layer is measured in millimeters. This value is the ESR. Normal ESR values are as follows. 0 to 15 millimeters per hour in men. 0 to 20 millimeters per hour in women. And 0 to 10 millimeters per hour in children. In elderly people, slightly higher values are considered normal. The following conditions can give rise to a higher ESR value. Acute or chronic inflammatory conditions. Infections, especially chronic ones. Autoimmune disorders. Malignancy. Tissue injury or necrosis. And pregnancy. A low ESR may be seen in conditions like polycythemia, sickle cell disease, chronic heart failure, and hypofibrinogenemia. Finally, the ESR test is nonspecific. A raised ESR does not indicate a particular disease, and a normal ESR does not exclude disease. Therefore, it must always be interpreted in relation to the clinical context.